Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, as always. I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great, great hump day. We are over the hump, and basically 24 hours from now, we'll know exactly where the Cowboys are. We'll find out if the Cowboys are contenders or pretenders. Um, it, it's one of those no-win situations for the Dallas Cowboys because, of course, um, if we win that game, we know that the Seattle Seahawks will become a trash team. It, it'll be a trash team. So it'll still be, well, the Cowboys still ain't be, beat anybody. They don't have a winning record. Okay, be that as it may, this is the opportunity for the Cowboys to get themselves together. And part of the reason why people think that the Cowboys suck so bad is because of all of the negativity that you hear from some of the talking heads. Now, can somebody explain to me what the hell is up with Joy Taylor and the, the way she goes at Dak Prescott? I'm curious if she says stuff like she does about Dak to her brother, Jason Taylor, you know, Hall of Famer, defensive end. Because I think he, in the playoffs, I think the teams he was on, they were like four and five. And he never was a champion or anything like that. So I'm wondering if she says that you're a fraud and you shouldn't, you know, give back your Hall of Fame thing. Because the, the bars that she is setting for Dak Prescott, she is setting like for nobody else. I want you to listen to this because I, I'm wondering, did, did they have history? Did they go out? Because the way she acts like is like she's a jilted lover, that she's trying to trash him. She, he's a, she's a Hollywood producer and basically saying, you're never going to work in this town again. But listen to this, because this is the biggest crock of shit I have ever heard. Now, I want you to understand something. MVP, MVP is the most valuable player on the, in the NFL for that season, and it is for only for that season. It does not matter what you did last year, the year before, the year before that. It's like the comeback player of the year. It's only for this year because you came back from whatever happened last year. The 2023 MVP is about what happens this year. Now listen to her. I think he should be in the conversation. But if we're talking about right now, the season ends, there are a lot of people who think Dak Prescott should be the MVP, which to me is crazy. To be in the conversation is not crazy, but to win the MVP, you have to hit some sort of criteria. So do they have the best record in the conference or the best record in the league? I think not. They don't. Okay, so... Let's stop there for a second. There's only one team that has a better record, than, and that is than Jalen Hurts and uh, the Eagles. Cowboys are tied with San Francisco's record with uh, you know, uh, Kansas City's and everybody else. But go ahead. Are they leading their division? No. 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 Is he specifically checking off any statistical phenomenon? Mm -mm. No, he's second in passing touchdowns. Okay, let's stop right there for a second. Let's stop right there for one second. So, by her, by, by this, you're saying, so the guy who has the most TDs should be the MVP, right? Is that what she's saying? Is that what she's saying? Because here's the thing. This is tr she is right. Dak is second currently in touchdown passes with 23. Josh Allen has 24, but here's the thing that's kind of interesting with because this is how they kind of cherry pick and set you up with some bullshit. Josh Allen hasn't had a bye week yet. Josh Allen has 12 games. Dak Prescott has 11 with 23. Tua has 22 with 11 games. Pat Mahomes has 21 with 11 games. Justin Herbert has 20 with 11 games. Now, if you go by the average, so if he's got 24 touchdowns in 12 games, if you do the math, divide 24 by 12, that means he's getting two touchdowns a game. 
That's his average. So it's safe to say that if you take off a game, then he would be actually at 22 touchdown passes. Okay? But regardless, so we're saying he's second in the NFL. Forget, forget that he's had an extra game. But we're saying he's second right there. Okay? All right. So let's go. Not one. Second. Two. That's not the winner. That's second. Passing touchdowns. Second in completion percentage. And Okay. So completion percentage. Let's go there. So then Josh Allen must have the second highest completion percentage, right? Oh, no. Somebody different has the completion percentage. Brock Purdy. So Brock Purdy, who has 19 TDs, he's not leading in TD passes, but he is leading in completion percentage at 70.2, two tenths of a percent higher than Dak Prescott. Okay, all right. So let's keep let's let's go on some more. Second in passer rating, he's not hitting any statistical phenomenon, nor is he leading in any of those categories. Are they beating good teams? Mm. No. Okay, I, I'll give you that one. Has he had? <clears throat> but. Who's Miami beating? And you can go through and say San Francisco's big win is the Cowboys. But go on. A moment this season where we have come up here and said Dak Prescott is unequivocally the best player in the league right now today. We yeah. watched football all weekend and came in like, damn, Dak Prescott. Did you see that? Dak, did you see? Well, he didn't play over the weekend. He played on Thanksgiving. And most people were like, damn, the day after Thanksgiving. Damn, did you see that? Did you see the touchdowns? And I believe people have been praising him and saying that he is playing since the San Francisco game, since the bye week, better than anybody else. And I want you to understand something, Joy, that nobody leads all of the categories. Because it's interesting, it's interesting what she left out when she started talking about phenomenies. Because she didn't talk about, like, interceptions. You know, remember that thing? Because she didn't say that Josh Allen, who does lead the NFL in touchdown passes with an extra game, also is tied with Sam Howe for the most interceptions. She didn't mention that Tua has 10. She didn't mention that Jalen Hurts has 10. She didn't mention that Patrick Holmes has 9. Did she? Okay. I'm just checking because you go way down the list to 20th is where Dak Prescott is in interceptions. I guess if you, she'd have to lead that in order to be mentioned. Okay. See go Dak, on. James, I know we all watch football, but did you see Dak Prescott this weekend? <clears throat> Not once has that happened. What do they have? Well, you saw the little, little note at the end. They have a, a, a big, loud fan base, so that helps. He's got a star in the helmet. Honestly, factually, checklist – Checklistly. Checklistly. What is he doing that qualifies him to be leading the MVP conversation right now? What is he doing that would put him above Patrick Mahomes? What is he doing that would put him above Jalen Hurts? He's doing none of those things. So what is the thing that I'm missing Here's other than the star? Because I don't think the rest of the league, the guys that are ahead of him, the guys that have been ahead of him in the conversation for this entire time, are all of a sudden going to take naps for the rest of the season and not continue take building naps. their MVP resumes. Mm -hmm. So unless he does one of these things, or two really, because that, or three, he's going to need to do something else significant to build his resume. And while he may do some of these things, what are these other guys doing? What's Patrick Mahomes doing for the rest of the season? What's Jalen Hurts doing for the rest of the season? What's Tyreek Hill doing for the rest of the season? Are all those guys just, just resting? Like, they're cool? They're not interested in <laughs> playing just, like, at resting? the highest level for the rest of the season along with Dak Prescott? <clears throat> uh, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here like, what is she talking about? Because we can go by Patrick Mahomes. He's got 21 TDs, nine interceptions. Same record as Dak Prescott. He's got 2,900 yards passing. Dak Prescott's 3,200. Um, so I'm kind of like, yeah, Dak's ahead of him in completion percentage. He's ahead of him in yardage. He's ahead of him in touchdowns. That's Pat Mahomes. Jalen Hurts. Now, you could make an argument that the Eagles have the best record in football. 
and that, you know, because he's the quarterback of that team. I could see that argument, but, you know, you look at it and say, well, they also have a great running game attack and so on, and they have a great, you know, offensive line and things. You know, that, that he is a product of the team itself. He's a great quarterback, and he is bringing comebacks. Don't, don't, don't bring me to hate Eagles. But you look at the Cowboys that right now, the offense is going through Dak Prescott. They are using the passing game to set up the run as opposed to the Eagles kind of using the running game to set up the pass. But be that as it may, you could take Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy does have a higher completion percentage, but he is four TD passes behind. You could look at, you know, like I said, with um, uh, Pat Mahomes, you know, Dak's every category is higher. They got the same record. And it doesn't matter what you did before. Yes, Lamar Jackson was an MVP a few years ago, but you, you can't say that Lamar Jackson has done anything in the playoffs more than Dak Prescott. He hasn't. So what is it that Joy Taylor has against Dak Prescott that he literally is just trying to just sully his name just to sully his name? I, I don't know. Like I said, did they have history or not? Because the arguments in the, you know, the rest of the guys are going to go take a nap. What the heck? And what was it? Stat, 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 tiggly or what, what? Making up words too on top of it? And I ask, it, it, what gives her credibility that she knows what the hell she's talking about? Because her brother's a Hall of Famer? Is that it? I just don't know. But. There you have it, guys. That, that's my take on trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with her. I'm Mark Holmes, and I hope you had a good hump day.